Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, and today we created the Wilt Chamberlain era in NBA 2K23. So we're here in 2K23, and the year is 2022, but pretend the year is 1965, okay? The Wilt Chamberlain era, as you guys know, there are four eras in this game in my NBA for 2K23. We have the, the Michael Jackson, no, Michael Magic Johnson and Larry Bird era. We have the Jordan era. We have the Kobe era and the modern era. Now, I wish they added the first one ever the ABA Julius Irving slash Wilt Chamberlain era all the way back in the 1960s. But they didn't, so I went ahead and made it myself. So here's how it works. There are 12 total teams in this league. Now one could say that this is the Bill Russell era because he won 11 championships. But for some reason, Wilt Chamberlain has more clout when it comes to YouTube, so I'm using him for the title. And all 12 of these teams had their star players back in the day. So the Lakers have Wilt Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, for some reason, Shep Owens. The Celtics have Bill Russell, John Havlicek, Sam Jones. The Cincinnati Kings have Oscar Robertson. Look, bro, it's very accurate. And we're just gonna play a season in the Wilt Chamberlain era and see who will dominate. Can Wilt drop 100 points in the game? All this stuff is gonna be accurate, so real quick, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Any other ideas, man? It's dope that we can have 12 teams in a league, so if you have any ideas, let me know, and we'll make it happen. So I think the goal for this video is gonna be to win as many rings as possible with Wilt. Now, the thing is, I can't change the year, so when we go to league history, NBA records like it's still gonna have all the old ones for Wilt so 1962 all that stuff we can't change but since it is only 12 teams I decided to make some changes so for general there's gonna be the first round is best of three then it's best of seven for everything else back in the 1960s the quarter length was still 12 minutes so I think the goal is gonna be to have Wilt Chamberlain win five rings during this era the battle between basically Wilt and Bill Russell I'll show you guys all the teams while we're at it I mean the Bulls don't really have anyone some of these are like you know players that I shouldn't have on the roster but I'm not gonna spend time making Making every single person accurate. That takes too much time. We have Cream on the Bucks. Uh, we have Bob Pettit on the Hawks. The Pistons don't have anyone. And yeah, just random players. The 76ers have Julius Irving. And the Knicks have Earl Monroe, Jerry Lucas. For some reason, it's only like a 22 game season. Not that much because this is, let me explain. This is a scenario that I downloaded. Before 2K patched their game, like when the game first came out, you could remove teams when you, when you customize the league. You could remove so many teams to where it's a 12 team league. But nowadays, after the updates, you can't do that anymore. So whoever uploaded this scenario made it to where it's only like a 20 game season. But it's all good though. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start off by simulating the first game. And I just wanna see uh, how the league looks after week one. The Lakers ended up crushing the Bulls as expected. Comment down below who you think are the best team is right now. Do you think it's the Lakers or the Celtics? I think on paper the Celtics are better, but the Lakers are probably gonna win a championship. So looking at league leaders, who is leading? Elgin Baylor dropped 37 points, Kareem with 28 points and 22 rebounds, uh, Havlicek with 27 points, Will all the way down here with 24 points, 18 rees, 7 assists and only 1 block. You should have a lot more blocks. I want to see some like unrealistic stats during this video because it's only a 12 team league with like 10 stars in total. Bill Russell dropped 19 and a half and 13 rebounds, but he had four blocks. So and he's only 6'10". So, all right, I want to play in the game against the Celtics. So we'll simulate this game. Actually, no, we'll simulate in the playoffs is when we'll simulate. Because in the comments, you guys said you want to see gameplay. We lost to the Celtics by 19 points. Dang. All right, we got to see the back score here. This dude, Shep Owens is low-key carrying. <laughs> Why is Shep the best player? Will only had nine points and five rebounds. Dang, so Bill Russell cooked him. Bill Russell so far is better. 30 points, 12 rebounds three blocks. Let's check out the rest of the league too though. How's Oscar Robertson doing with the Kings? Dang, not looking too good. I mean, I don't think injuries really happen here. He's a 98 overall. He's so far averaging 26 points, 14 rebounds, and 12 assists. So he's averaging a triple-double two games in. That's realistic. I like that. Uh, what else? Bob Pettit. A lot of people know Bob Pettit. He's crushing and getting the rebounds. That's what I expect. I expect like, the stars to be, you know, obviously really good. Go back to the Lakers here. Julius Irving, Dr. J. He's 33 years old, but he's still doing his thing. 24 points. I don't know. Who's gonna win MVP? I, I couldn't even tell you who would win MVP. But let's go back to the Lakers. We're up against uh, uh, Kareem in the in the Bucks. We ended up beating them. And Wilt had 35 points, seven blocks this game. Okay, next game up against Oscar Robertson. We beat them. Wilt had 34, 18. Um, Elgin, Jerry West is kind of quiet, only seven points. And Oscar Robertson, triple double again. You gotta keep in mind too, a lot of these players, they're part-time basketball players. They're working in between these games. They're not, you know, they're full focuses in basketball. It's the 1960s, bro. Like MLK was giving out speeches. You know, that's, that's what. But uh, we're up against the Knicks, we beat them. And Earl Monroe dropped 21. Had 29 rebounds, bro. <laughs> now technically, Three pointers, they should not be shooting any threes. I should have, I'm gonna change that right now. Yeah, cause it's 19, there wasn't even a thing back then. So what I'll do is I'll go to the tuning sliders and I'll go to uh, CPU. 
I gotta change the tendencies to shoot threes, make it zero. So taking three point shots now, they will no longer do it for the rest of the simulation, hopefully, ideally. Um, so our record is five and one. Let's see the standings. Let's see who's the best team in the league. The Celtics are undefeated, six and oh. It's the Celtics, the Hawks, and the Lakers. The Bulls are six and four. They already played 10 games. Who's the worst team? Dang, bro, Dr. J, only one and five. All right, this is fun. I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is something, it's different is what it is. That's why I like it. But we'll simulate this next week. We beat the 76ers and the Hawks. We're seven and one, bro. How we looking? How we do against Dr. J and them? Jerry West had 30, Wilt had 30, and then uh, Julius only had 10. I mean, Julius is, he's supposed to be one of the best players ever. You guys have Julius Irving as a top five small forward of all time. Like I would have, I would have it as this. I would have LeBron, Larry Bird, Kevin Durant. Um, There's one more, I'm trying to think. Dr. J, is, it, is Kawhi Leonard a top five small forward of all time? I mean, he won a ring, he carried the Raptors. I don't know, bro, comment down below. Who's your top five small fours of all time? I think Dr. J has to be in there for sure. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't even know for real. But anyway, we're seven and one. Go ahead and uh, uh, win these next two games. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be the Celtics versus Lakers in this uh, finals, or in the playoffs at least. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're crushing it. The Syracuse Nationals, that's a real team, by the way. These are all real teams, by the, like I spent time making sure. Cincinnati Royals. They were a real team. Phoenix Nationals, or Syracuse Nationals, but they don't have anyone for real. The Pistons didn't really have anyone, nor did the Bulls. It's just a few, it's really just a few teams that were crushing it. That's why Bill Russell won 11 rings, bro. There's no competition for real. So we beat the Bucks again, and Kareem had 26-9. Dog, Elgin Baylor's a beast. Will have four blocks, okay. Uh, All-Star Weekend, the Captains will pick their, I wanna see the All-Star All -Star Draft. Let's go ahead and see what we got. So Team Oscar Robertson and Team Bob Pettit. So those are the best two, those, those are the Captains. Oscar Robertson has Will, Elgin Baylor, and Earl Monroe. Then Dre West coming off the bench. Bob Cousy, Sam Jones, Jerry Lucas, Walt Bellamy. He plays for the Hawks. Then Team Pettit has Havlicek, Dr. J, Bill Russell coming off the bench, Kareem coming off the bench, and Shep Owens coming off the bench. <laughs> As Dennis Smith Jr. made his way here, he used a time machine. Okay, well, I want to see now the three point contest. But no, te technically, there was no such thing. Let's do a duck contest. I think there was a duck. Was there a duck contest back in the 60s? I think there was. I think Dr. J was in it. We got Stacey Carr, Victor Doogie and Alonzo Swift and Wilt Chamberlain. So yeah, I wanna see Wilt win it. This should be fun, let's watch it. AT&T 5G, bro, there was no such thing as 5. There wasn't even 2G, 3G. This is 19, there wasn't even internet back then, bro. You gotta realize every dunk, this is the first time they'll ever see it. This is the first dunk contest of all time. And he beat Vince Carter. He did it 40 years earlier. <laughs> That's pretty sick. 31. What was like the thing in the 60s? You know how every decade has their thing, like the 30s, the Great Depression, the war Roaring 20s. World War II was in the 40s. The 50s had uh, something. 80s had cocaine. What did the 60s, what was like the 60s re remembered for back then? Now it's time for Will Chamberlain. Will the still, he's averaging 26 and 17 rebounds. He's crushing it, bro, let's go. He's 7-1, go crazy. Hey, I'll take it. Yes, sir. The most athletic player, most athletic athlete in the history of sports with a 32 score. This dude's dunk is whack. Wow, get him out of here. Victor, what you got? Dog, That that's like a 10. That's the worst dunk I've ever seen. <laughs> he just did a regular dunk and he barely made it. A 24, thank you. I like how it's like, this is an accurate dunk contest if it was in the 60s. These dudes suck. Come on, Alonzo, impress me. For real? Now it's time for Wilt the Stilt. This, this is the last dunk of the whole contest. Can you win it right here, bro? You got the best score so far. Show us why you're the GOAT. Come on. Go crazy. Oh! Oh, shit. What? Yo, what is, he's on crack. 360, like, reverse slam. It was a windmill, too. No, that was disgusting. A 46, yeah, that, that alone wins it. That's the best dunk I, that the world's ever seen at this point in time. The score is 78. <laughs> Pretty good season so far. Well, let's continue our next game. Uh, simulate through that up against the Celtics. And we lost to the Celtics, bro. That's that's our kryptonite. Havlicek had 26. They all got 20 points, bro. All these dudes. God dang. How much did we drop? Will just folds against Bill Russell. Like, actually. Elgin Baylor is cool, but yeah, it's tough. I guess we'll simulate to the end of the season here and see who wins MVP, the awards, who's in the playoffs. I'm excited, bro. Oscar Robertson, he wins MVP. So we averaged 30 points, 15 reroutes, and 14 assists, a triple-double, like an insane triple-double, by the way. And uh, he shot really good from the field goal. Got two steals as well. Wilt Chamberlain is rookie of the year, but he wasn't a rookie. Ah, oh, dang, I shouldn't have made him a rookie. That's my fault. But he averaged 26, 16, and 2.6 blocks. I expected a bit more. Six man goes to whatever. And Bill Russell wins defensive player of the year, which makes sense. That's what, he, that's what he's known for, his defense. 23 points, 17 rees, and four blocks a game is crazy. Damn, he's out for the season. No, the big O's out. 
torn left MCL. That sucks. John Havlicek is All-NBA first team, 98 overall. He's up to Bob Pettis, 97. Elgin Baylor's a 98, and Bill Russell's a 99 overall player at 25 years old. All-NBA second team, Wilt's up there. Julius Irving, Shep Owens, <laughs> Jerry West, and Lenny Wilkins of the Hawks. And then third team is Bob Cousy, Sam Jones, and then Kareem Zul Jabbar. All defensive, surprisingly, Wilt is not up here, but Oscar Robertson is. It's the same, like, 10-player rotation, essentially, that's gonna be everywhere. Um, but he is not all defensive second team either. Bryce James is all rookie first team. What is going on? Now, here's the playoffs. This is where things get very, very interesting. It's the Cincinnati Kings up against the Philadelphia 76ers, the Knicks versus the Royals, the Lakers versus the Pittsburgh, or versus the Hawks, and the Celtics versus the Bucks. This is dope. I want to see league leaders, though, before we continue. Who led the league in what? So, Bob Pettit had 27 points, 14 rees. Uh, Kareem had 25 points, 15 rebounds. We're going up against the, the, the Hawks, and Bob Pettit is someone not to mess with. Him and Wilt, it's going to be a good little battle. Hey, let's get right into it, bro. No more time to waste. We will we will simulate with SimCast each game for this Lakers game. Game one, we're playing at home. Technically, I think it's Minneapolis at this time. Maybe Los Angeles. We're getting our ass handed to us, though. We're getting crushed. Oh, my God. Game one, lost by 30. And the Celtics won game one against the Bucks. Philadelphia wins. Well, that makes sense because Oscar Robertson is out. And the Knicks win. I'm going to make my prediction right now. My prediction is going to be the Lakers and Celtics, 76ers and Knicks. Then the 76ers are going to win and play against the Celtics. Unless we pull off a crazy victory. I don't know, but here we go. Game two is also at home. We're playing back-to-back -back home games in a best of three series. I don't know why. So we're tied 1-1, but everyone else is up 2-0. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they're going to be swept. But for us, it is down to the wire, bro. We're playing in Atlanta. This is like way before Lil Baby was born, too. So before, before a lot of people were born. We're getting crushed though, dog. Damn, we're getting crushed. Ah, man, lost by 11. How does that happen? Will is just not, he's not playing up to par, bro. Come on, dog, we gotta step it up. Even Bob Pettit is, is doing bad. Only nine points and nine rebounds. This dude, Lenny Wilkins, he's crushing it. I just realized there is, it's not best of three because the first round doesn't exist due to the, like the lack of teams. So this is gonna be a best of uh, seven series either way. Go ahead and simulate. We still have a chance, bro. We can still be in it. And yeah, we're crushing him. Oh, we're blowing him out, dog. Why is every game so lopsided? Wilt stepped it up finally. 27 points and 20 rees. And Dre West had 31 points, the logo. That's what I'm talking about. Well, so far, the Boston Celtics swept him. And so did the Knicks. So, hey, bro. We're down 3-2. This is important. It's a close game, bro. It's a very close game. I think we can pull it out, though. Ah, oh, we got him. We got him crushed. Crushed him by 28. How did Wilt do this time? 32 points. That's what I'm talking about. Jerry West had 30 and Elgin Baylor had 36. There we go. Lenny Wilkins had 30. Bro, it's tied 3-3. And the, the Philadelphia 76ers won. This is it, bro. The biggest game so far of Wilt's career, of our career in the Wilt Chamberlain era. Ah, it's back and forth. Ooh, I'm just, ah, fit my tongue. We're up by six points with a minute left. Let's jump in and just see. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to win it regardless, but, you know, I just want to make sure we secure the deal. Guard up in that paint. Block him. Get that out of here. Good read. Go, Jerry. Jerry, feed Will. Whoa, whoa, I'm not a shooter. Back him down. Big body. Big body. Uh, let's go. I'm there. Try me. Try me. Bad shot. Give me that read. I like how he just flies in for the rebounds. It, Elgin Baylor's not playing, but Jerry West has 32 points. Pilk him, logo. Feed Wilt. Feed Wilt. He's the best player on this team. Back him down. Go ahead. Say what? Woo! That's too easy. We have 32 points and 13 rebounds. Hit the free throw. Yes, sir. And we won. Game seven and a winner go home. The Lakers are moving on. Is that Marcin Gortat? <laughs> Will have 33 points at 13 rebounds and five blocks in a in, in a in a in a in a in a winner go home game. Dre West had 32. That's better had 26. Love to see it, bro. Love to see it. And the conference finals looks like this: the Celtics and Lakers and the Knicks and 76ers, as expected. So we'll go ahead and simulate each game. Game one, we win it. Game two, they win. Oh, it's 2-1. Come on, 3-2, simulate with SimCast just to see what happens. Both series are 3-2 right now. Dang, I wanna, I wanna just take them out. It's close. I'm jumping in, I'm jumping in, bro. Up against Bill Russell. Rest in peace to Bill Russell, but it's time to cook up, man. Defensive player of the year, yeah, right, bro. That's too easy, get off the way. Bro, he's too little. Give it to Bill, give it to William, give it to him. I'm there, I'm there. Get that out of here, I'm there, get that. That's not a foul, bro. Second free throw for Russell goes in. Well, the pick and roll never fails, man. So just keep running that play. Great screen. Feed the, feed the running man. Damn! Okay, Bill. <laughs> Respect. Respect. Showing us why he gave us play of the year. Fuck that. Damn, he got dunked on too. I'll be real. I didn't expect that. Tell me another screen. Light work. 
Like, bro, this dude, Bill Russell's a menace. I can see why he's, I can see why he won all those chips. Like that, let's go. Give it to Bill, I dare you. I, d you can't shoot, bro, Bruh. you can't. He airballed that, oh, that's disgusting. I got it back to him, no, no. Bill, yo, the, the centers back there, they're built different, bro. You don't find centers like these nowadays. Oh, I try to block that shit. I try to block that for real. They're a good team, dog. They're a good team. Beat Elgin Baylor. This guy's a Laker legend, bro. You already know. You already know. He's a Laker legend. I need you to hit a shot for me. Step back. Hit that. Curry, Will. Yes, sir. Woo. That's too easy. I mean, they, they don't stand a chance. They don't. I'm sorry. Great screen. Can I throw it up? Throw it up. Yo. Get body! Woo! He's charged up, dog. What can I say? Will has er is that Steve Nat? Get blocked. Get blocked. Get blocked! How do you finish that late? And we do it. We win the conference finals. Yes, sir. Will, let's win a ring, baby. Come on. Jerry West wins conference finals MVP. Let's respect. You know, I think he's the only person to win a finals MVP and not actually win a ring. So that's pretty interesting. And that leads us to the finals where we're gonna play up against either the Knicks or the 76ers. Ooh, going to a game seven. And the 76ers with Julius Irving win it. And now we are up against the Julius Irving 76ers. Game one is a victory. Game two, oh, we're gonna sweep them. 3-0, come on, dog. 4-0. And for the first championship awarded in the Will Chamberlain era, Will Chamberlain wins it. And Elgin Baylor wins finals MVP. He went crazy. Let's see the box score. Will had 21 and 16 in game four, but in game one, how do we do? Game one, he had 32 and 20. Game two, he had 38 and 15. And then game three, he had 26 and 12. Great, great series. He should have won Finals MVP. Who retired? Carmelo? You weren't even, <laughs> what? Now the way I have it for the draft is prospect scouting is actually the 1970 draft class. So Dave Cohens, Bob Lanier, Pete Maravich, pretty accurate. So we'll go ahead and draft. All right, the first pick of the draft, the Golden State Warriors select Nate Archibald. I think he went there in real life too. The Pistons get Kelvin Murphy. The Bulls get Pete, or no, the, this team, the Royals get Pete Maravich. The Bulls get Charlie Scott. They get Dave Cohens, the 36ers. Royals get Bob Lanier, Jamal Jefferson, Dan Issel. Okay, don't know these players. Now, because there's only 12 teams, the draft goes up to 12 picks. So Mark Kelly was the last pick. Now it's our second season and Will left the Lakers. What? <laughs> our league is gonna look a little different now. So let's find out. Julius Irving stays with the 76ers and Will goes to the Pistons. Interesting. Elgin Baylor goes to the Bucks with Kareem. The Celtics, they stay the same. So I guess this season, we'll stick with the Celtics and see what happens. We'll go ahead and simulate the entire season and see who will have the best record now that everyone's kind of split. I imagine we, the best chance to win a finals is this year for the Celtics because everyone's split. And it's simulating really fast. Hold on, I want to see real quick as well the contracts. <laughs> but Russell's getting paid nothing. That's weird. Wait, I want to go back to uh, Will. He left for four years, $137 million. Back then, it'd be $137, be the same value because inflation. Oscar Robertson, back-to-back -back MVPs, averaging 33 points, 11 rebounds, and 14 assists. He's going crazy. And Bill Russell, defensive player of the year, averaging 20, 14, and three blocks. And David Boucher with 16 points and 10 rebounds. Okay, Wilt, All-NBA first team. And here is how it looks. I want to see, though, a more in-depth look on the league leaders. We got Will averaging 28, 14, and three blocks. Elgin Baylor, 27 points. Uh, Jerry West with 23, 12 assists. Nothing out of the ordinary here, but this is big, man. Can the Celtic, the Pistons are in the playoffs too. Will's in the playoffs. Uh, so we're gonna simulate this first round and see. Pistons lost, Will's out of it. It's the Oscar Robertson in the, in the Kings against Elgin Baylor and Kareem in the Bucks. And then it's the Celtics with Bill Russell up against Bob Pettit in the, Cel in the, in the Hawks. So we swept them. Oh, okay, this is, this is a new one. Hey, this is a new one, bro. It's gonna be the Celtics versus the Kings. Double check something real quick, playoff stats. Well, so far, Bill Russell in the playoffs is averaging 21, 14, and five blocks. He's crushing it. We got John Havlicek, he's a bucket. He's a walking bucket, you already know this stuff. Oscar Robertson is averaging 30 points and 16 assists in the play. 16 assists, dog. That's insane. But we'll simulate with Simcast or simulate through each game. We win game one. Oh, nah. Bill Russell, win your, win your 12th ring. We're about to blow a 2 0 lead. And there's no way. Simulate with Simcast. There's no way Robertson's about to steal a ring from us. It's really, really close, dog. Ah, I may have to jump in. I might have to jump in. I, there's no chance, bro. Wow. We blew a 2 0 lead. We lost by 30. Whoa. Robertson wins. He averaged a triple double. In the finals. Yeah, he's having a great career. The Knicks get Wendell Bridges. I don't know any of these dudes, to be honest. Oh, Bill Walton. He goes to the Lakers. Is Russell staying with the Celtics? Is he loyal? He's loyal. He signed a four-year deal. And we got Jalen Williams. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. We still have Sam Jones, Jerry Lucas now. This is looking a little different. And this following year, 
Oscar Robertson, another triple-double MVP, three-time MVP. He's like the GOAT with this generation right now. Elgin Baylor wins defense player of the year. Interesting. Very, very. Bill Russell, Norwood Will is all NBA first team or second team. Bill Russell averaged 17 points. Yeah, he kind of fell off this year a little bit. The Lakers, the first seed. So I'm assuming the Lakers with Jerry West and Luke Walton or Bill Walton, they're looking good. Pistol Pete's up to 87 with the Syracuse Nationals. I don't know, bro. The Bucks are probably the best shot to win it, but let's simulate the playoffs and find out who's gonna win another ring. It might be Robertson. Yeah, same finals, bro. The same exact NBA finals. Same outcome? Ooh, in game seven, Oscar, another triple-double to win his second chip. Bill Russell's in shambles, and Kareem officially retires. He's out of here. That was quick. NBA draft is here. The Bulls select Robert Parrish. The Pistons get Dennis Johnson. Dennis Donald Rodman, not Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I don't know the rest of these dudes. And something big happened. The big O goes to the Philadelphia 76ers to team up with Dave Cohens and Julius Irving, who's 36 years old. This is probably the best team in the league right now. Yeah, most definitely the best team in the league. Now, the 76ers had the best shot to win it. Let's win four MVPs in a row. Surprisingly, our record is only 12 and 10. Another triple-double season. This dude's crazy. Adrian Danley, Rookie of the Year. Ralph Sampson, sixth man. Will, Defensive Player of the Year. Getting 2.7 blocks and 25 points. Not bad at all. We're the first seed, even though with all that L's. The Knicks went 20 and 2. Damn. Oh, they got Shep Owens and Bob Cousy. <laughs> Shep Owens, he might win Finals MVP this year. You never know. No, the Kings and 76ers are back at it. The Kings have Bob Pettit. Can we three-peat? Can Oscar Robertson win three in a row? Yo, Big O is his era. He's claiming it. The Syracuse Nationals are looking really good, though. Bob Pettit and Pete Maravich, like, this duo right here could be the move. Wait, they also have Bernard King, I think I saw. They got Bernard King, too, as a rookie. Yeah, they got a good team. Five-time MVP. Look at his award history, bro. So far, he's averaging 30 points, 11 assists, and 12 rebounds. The first season where he's not getting a triple-double, only eight rebounds this year. What's his overview? He's enthused. Okay, okay, okay. I want to see his award history. No injuries, by the way. Just one. He's out for a while. Oh, this is like years ago. But so far, he's a five-time MVP, three-time champion, five-time All-Star. Like, he's having an amazing career. Bernard King wins Rookie of the Year for the Syracuse Nationals and sixth man. Bill Russell back in Defense Player of the Year. Hey, man. 2K, 2K is trying to say that Bill Russell wouldn't be the GOAT of this of this era and it's hard to disagree the nationals and 76ers this is a good one bro oh my god another ring for him big o is going crazy this is <laughs> wow julius Irving retires let's keep going until oscar robertson retires let's keep no we'll keep going until he stops winning rings like i'm surprised that wilt and them aren't they're just they're quiet like he's still on the pistons but he's not another four-year deal they're just quiet wilt's worried about the wrong things right now not not winning six time mvp <laughs> another triple double as well Ralph Sampson, sixth man. Bill Russell back in defensive player of the year again. So he's good on defense for sure. And it's the same team back in the final in the playoffs, man. Ah, the Celtics and Knicks this time. Shep Owens. Gotta win one at least for that for the era, bro. Oh, we got swept by Shep Owens. Come on, bro. Oh my god, bro. We were point one rebounds away from another triple double season. Dang. It's tough. It is what it is, though. This dude's having an amazing career. I can't believe it. I thought like Wilt would go crazy or Bill Russell. No, they still have not won anything. Well, Wilts won a ring, but besides that, like, nothing really. Pistons are... Oh, man. Warriors and Nationals. So the... Okay, so who do the Warriors and Nationals have? Find out. Warriors have Nate Archibald and Miles Bridges. <laughs> oh, Nate Archibald wins Finals MVP. Well, hey, man, look. I think we should call it a wrap here. This was fun. John Havlicek retired. You know, some, some, some legends retired here. This was fun. Hey, this was a lot of fun. Comment down below any other ideas. Now that we can have a 12-team league, if you have any ideas you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments. Drop a like on this video. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.